Last season, Ready to Love hit the ATL hard, shaking up the dating game and getting real about why people aren't finding love. I am a African-American woman in a predominantly black city with 20 women to one man. While some found what they were looking for. You're making me fall in love with you. Others flamed out. I don't want to take hope away from these women. You didn't let them on, man. But now we're back with a fresh crop of singles who are putting it all out there in the name of love. The emotions are stronger, the competition is stiffer, and the stakes are higher. So let's spend a minute getting to know the new cast. This is the Ready to Love Season 2 casting special. I am absolutely ready to find love. I'm tired. I'm ready to find somebody, you know, just spend the rest of my life with. I'm ready to build an empire with a significant other. I need a man that's going to be there for me when I'm up and when I'm down. I'm looking for someone to most definitely grow old with. I'm ready for you. Where you at, girl? Where, girl, where's you? What's up, y'all? I'm Tommy Miles, and we're back to play matchmaker for 20 hopefuls looking for love. Over the last few months, we've searched every corner of Atlanta for people who are serious about attracting someone special. But before we meet these sexy singles, I need a wingman. And here he is, the executive producer of Ready to Love, the one and only, my man, Mr. Will Packer. I'm here, brother. What's up, baby? How you doing, man? Yeah. Come on. I've been waiting on this. You know how we do. Come on. Ready to Love, the first season was good. This one's going to be even better, bro. This is going to be better. Yeah. All right, Will, man. Yeah. How, how excited are you about season two? I couldn't be more excited. Tommy, here's one thing that's interesting about this season. The guys are actually more mature this year. I said it. I'll be honest with okay. you. We were very careful to make sure that we got guys that were a little bit older, a little bit more mature, and were really ready to settle down. Okay. It's going to be interesting to see how they mesh with the women who are also at that point. We got a group of 20 people who are all sincerely ready. You're not going to give me a headache this season. That's what you're telling me. I'm not going to promise uh, you that no okay. headaches. You sound like I will have no headaches it's, this season. It's going to be an interesting season. <laughs> there are some folks that are going to give you a run for your money. Okay. I promise you that. You ready to do this? I am ready. Buddy. You ready? Let's do it. Let's do it. Here we go. As they always say, ladies first. So we're actually going to give the ladies some eye candy. Let's kick this thing off with a look at a few of our most eligible bachelors. Check out these handsome fellas from the ATL. Hey, my name is London, age 41, and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. My dad played for the Baltimore Colts. I played uh, defense end in college, and I played linebacker professionally. Kind of chased my dream for a while until I realized it was time to hang up the cleats. So that's when I started in corporate America. I'm an area sales manager for the Mid-South, so I oversee Atlanta, Nashville, as well as uh, Alabama. I packed up my house in Houston six months ago, so when I came to Atlanta, I got on dating websites and stuff like that, doing stuff completely out of my comfort zone. So with that being said, I got a side of me that is extremely professional when I wear these glasses like I have right now, and I got a side of me that is a little bit different you know, outside, and that's just the way I am, but it is who I am, and that's what I think I attract Thought pockets, you know, and that's not that's not what I want. <laughs> now that I'm 41 years old, it's kind of like I found myself. I used to think the beautiful girls, you know, somebody that looks real good, but now that I'm getting a lot older, I would prefer somebody who's equally yoked. Now is the right time because I've done it all, and I'm looking for my superwoman. You know, hopefully she's athletic or something like that so we can have this number one draft pick so I don't have to worry about my 401k. You know, because, I mean, it's in the genes. You know, it's in the genes. I want to be able to play with them while I still can. The hammy ain't like it used to be. <laughs> my name is Darren. I am 35 years old, and I live in Atlanta, Georgia. I started off as a personal trainer in Atlanta. So what I did is I ended up opening up a wellness company I'm a Capricorn. I don't know if y'all believe in Zodiacs. We are extremely career-driven and ambitious. So I have put all my eggs in that basket with the universe, and apparently I haven't really done the same thing with relationships. So my ex, she was in Ohio. She was just looking for that missing piece of the puzzle to kind of like just live this specific life, and I had much larger ambitions than that, and that's what drove us apart. I moved to Atlanta to pursue my dreams, and, and she hit me with a, she, she proposed to me, actually. Well, I told her, I was like, yeah, we can do this. I'm willing to make this work. But it comes to find out that the ring and the engagement was a ploy to get me to stay in Ohio. And y'all see I'm here now, right? So. 
I've reached a point in my life where I'm not worried about professionalism or finances. That thing is kind of on cruise control. And I'm looking more so for a, a life partner, an improvement of whatever I'm doing and the opposite for her, an improvement of whatever she's doing. So she don't need me, but I don't need her, but we got each other. My name is Chamuco, but everybody calls me Chica. About 16 years here in Atlanta, been cutting hair. Um, I recently quit the shop, and um, I decided to bring my clients to my home. Atlanta is not the easiest city to date in. Let's just be clear about that. I've had three relationships. My last one was two years, the one before that was 10. Great relationship. I wasn't ready. That's just the honest truth. I don't mind being honest about it. I just made mistakes, man, I was young. So you learn, as you learn, yeah, I'm not gonna make the same mistake I made before. Last one I just had, relationship went left. I didn't speak up. I should have spoken up as a man. I try to be more honest with myself when it comes to date now. If I don't like what you're doing, I'm gonna speak on it now, instead of just accepting it. And nowadays, it's like you gotta tiptoe around people when it comes to what you don't like. Why do I have to tiptoe around you if I don't like this? Now, where I am, I just want someone who compliments me, I compliment them. And at the end of the day, I do want something that is real. Chica sounds like he wasn't as assertive as he needed to be in his past relationship. I tell you the good thing, though, Tommy. It sounds like he's somebody that is a long-term relationship guy. Well, he put 10 years in. 10 years in one, two years in another. So he, he feels like somebody that's got a maturity level mm -hmm. that is all about the long term. But I, what I do like is Chica stated he wasn't ready. That's right. And, to, and, and that, that, that's comes, honest. that comes from maturity, though. That's, you that's know what true, I mean? yes. You look back in hindsight and said, oh my God, I was not ready back then. But yes. now, yes. in front of you, you're like, I'm ready, give yeah. me a shot. Well, fellas, come on. You know your boy's looking out for you as well. Will and his team found some beautiful ladies who are ready to change their relationship status right along with their last name. <laughs> 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 Let's get to know a few of our Georgia peaches. Check it out. My name is Alexis. I'm 33, and I'm from Atlanta. So I'm in uh, software sales. I've been in this industry for close to 10 years. The longest relationship I've been in was a six-year relationship. That relationship kind of molded me further into the woman that I am today because I realized what I was willing to put up with and what I was no longer willing to put up with. I am the friend that's going to tell you the truth. So I'm a um, no bullshit policy with me. I'm an alpha female. I need you to be a leader. If I'm able to grab the reins, I'm going to trample over you. Or I may bend you over, whatever you're into. <laughs> and so guys have been like, you know, they don't really know how to receive that, but just do your thing. Be a guy, be a leader, and let me, let me be feminine, let me be submissive. But I have not found a lot of guys that I'm comfortable with being submissive. My mom's always like, all right, just pick you a good guy and let's just, let's get this thing on the road. I don't feel threatened by competition. I love competition. Um, I embrace it. For me, that would just be like, all right, game on. My name is Divine. I am from Atlanta, Georgia. I am in corporate America as a director of sales. In addition to that, I'm also a real estate agent in Atlanta. And you know, the rest is history. There's no ring on this finger. <laughs> I've been on the date in the dating scene for over 10 years now. The kid is not going to go up and approach a guy. I, I, I can't do it. I don't even have game. So I want to get someone while I'm super fine, and we can grow fat, old, and ugly together and lose our side teeth at the same time. You're 44, he was 34? Yes. He was fine, so I had to make an exception. Muscles, abs, dimples. So I was like, OK, maybe a little boy toy while I'm going to rebound. I was more resistant because I know he wanted kids. I might have one egg in the back somewhere, but it's not, it's going to stay there. <laughs> Dating in Atlanta, it's a huge challenge. The men have become spoiled and trained to kind of sit there and wait for the woman to approach. 
That's not my style. I want someone that is totally transparent, someone that's not afraid to laugh at their self. Right now is a time for me to find love because I'm baggage free. I worked a lot in my career, so I'm ready to make time and make myself available for a man. So two words, I'm ready. My name is Kimber, I'm 34, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. And I am a realtor. You want to know what an extreme sport is? It's dating in Atlanta, seriously. <laughs> so my last boyfriend, he told me that he laid floors. And I thought he had a flooring company. He didn't. He, he didn't. He got laid with a girl named Floor? Well, well, he got, hopefully he's not getting laid where he is right now, because he's in the big house. Oh! oh. What? <laughs> what? Well, let me ask you something. So what do we do with a lady that's been lied to? Yeah. Gets on the journey. Yeah. Can she find what she's looking for? Is, is everybody alive? I'm rooting for her. I like to see somebody that's been through some things like she's been come lied out on top. to yeah. come out on top. I understand. Sounds like her last relationship was rough. Let's see what these guys got for her. Yeah. That's what I say. Kimber let it rip about her ex-boyfriend getting thrown in jail. But when we come back, she's going to reveal why she's ready to be locked up in love. I see what you did there. Yeah. I like you that. You see that? Lock it down. We're just heating up on the Ready to Love Season 2 casting special. Am I right, Will? You sure right, brother. We're getting hot in it's here. It's time. <laughs> it is time. So my last boyfriend, he told me that he laid floors. He, he didn't. He got laid with a girl named Floor? Well, well he got... Hopefully, he's not getting laid where he is right now because he's in the big house. I don't pick poorly. I misjudged him. And I let him ride way longer than I should have. But most people, when we kind of cut ties, it's very amicable. They all normally say, like, you're the best girlfriend, and they're all doing well and thriving in their careers. He's just a lion ass. Life has a way of humbling you, and that's what happened. And I think I'm much more grounded. I think I'm much more focused. When I feel like I'm getting old, I feel like my clock is ticking. Maybe not pop a baby out tomorrow, but at least get the foundation to build on. So far, we've shown you six out of 20 singles who are starting this journey and opening up to a new way to find love. So Will, what do you look for in the ladies? for this season. You know what, the interesting thing is that Atlanta's an amazing city with no shortage of intelligent, professional, they got and available all. women. They got it all. That's the reality. Yes. So we actually did have a lot of ladies to choose from. You know what we wanted to do this year? We wanted to have a diversity. We wanted to have a lot of different types of women, different personalities, mm -hmm. different outlooks on life. Here's the thing that I like about this season. The guys are not always in control. Okay. The power goes back and forth between the men and the women this season. Which is better. Way better. Way better. Way better. You have to watch every week because you never know. Anybody can get eliminated, a man or a woman, and anybody can find love, which of course is what this is all about. The playing field is level. No question. <laughs> We're going to keep this circle of love revolving with more singles who are keeping it real about sex, heartbreak, and everything in between. This time, let's focus on what turns them off and what turns them on. My name is Brent. I'm 39 years old, and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I started graying when I was, like, 13. Women love it, that's, so that's, that's a great thing, you know? <laughs> My occupation, I own a behavioral health or mental health agency where we specialize in therapeutic services for at-risk children. I approach women in Atlanta pretty aggressively, not to the point to where they're turned off or I offend them, but I let it be known that I'm interested. I pride myself in having good relationships with the women that I no longer am in in intimate with. I don't have any complaints. Do they? <laughs> Oh, yeah, they got a lot. <laughs> Mainly, not making myself available. And that's always something I've kind of struggled with. It's letting women in, letting them really get to know who I am. I can't stay in the same rut for the rest of my life. I have to open up. I have to have a meaningful relationship. I have someone I can trust, I can build with, I can grow with. My name is Tandi. I'm born and raised in Detroit, Michigan, and I am 42 and fabulous. 
I am known uh, in our neighborhood as the Miss Miss Parker. So I'm 42 years old, but a lot of people feel like I don't look like I'm 42 years old. So when I go up to my daughter's school, of course, you know, we got the little boys trying to hit on me. They slide in my DMs. I mean, it's funny, but you know, I do have to tell them, you know, guys, it's a no-go, so. <laughs> I do like a nice tall man, you know what I'm saying? Got a nice little pee pee hanging down there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you know, smell good, nice, you know, I look at nails. This one guy was there, he said, why are you always talking about my nails? I said, I don't want your hand touch about the clean cat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you got under there. Because I have a strong personality. I don't want no dumpy ass guy. I can be blinking by the long ass lashes and do all kind of stuff, and he just turn around. I'm like, oh Lord, why, what am I doing wrong? Somebody deserves me, I deserve somebody, so I'm like, why not go for it now? This is the time. There might be a competitive thing here. Two women like the same man. Well, may the best bitch win. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Because I'm going to put it up 100%, honey. I like everything she said, except she was only looking for tall men. Think she's aggressive, though? I absolutely think she's you aggressive. Think she's too aggressive? That is up to the guys. Can the guys handle a personality like Tandy? That's a handful. That's a self-assured woman right there. And a lot of hair. Interchangeable. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has a story, so let's hear from two people who want to leave the single life behind, but can't seem to avoid the roller coaster of dating, mating, and relating in the ATL. My name is Jimmy. I'm from Decatur, Georgia, and I'm 39. When it's time to sell your home, call Jimmy Jones. I'm the number one listing agent in Atlanta. I am, in fact, ready for love. I mean, I am, in fact, ready to find somebody that's looking for something real. Try to go out on one or two dates a week. I'm about to be 40 in three weeks, bruh. <laughs> 30s have done me justice, but, I mean, 40 ain't gonna look like 30, man. I haven't ever really been this single ever in my life. I think when you're this single, you start remembering mistakes that you've done, and you'd be like, man, I don't want to, I don't want to be this anymore. I was married back in 2010, and um, I got divorced in 2013. Just, it just kind of went down here. I mean, I mean, to, you know, to me, that experience was one of the best things ever in my life. My ex-wife was one of the most caring people that I've ever met in my life. And that's one thing that I look for in a wife is that care. <laughs> I'm real needy, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I, I need time, man. I need time. Here's what I don't want, and, and this is what I hate. I hate when you meet a girl and y'all vibe and she got stuff going on. You be like, oh, yeah, so, you know, when can we go out? And it be like Sunday. They be like, um, like Friday night. Like Friday night, like that, or Thursday. Like, damn, this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Man, what, what the hell am I supposed to do between then? No, all jokes aside, I'm willing to do whatever it takes because the way I've been doing it has gotten me here. So I got to try something different. I'm ready to love because it's time. It's time for me to, to start a family. My name is Nina. I'm 32 years old from Atlanta, Georgia. I've been a licensed massage therapist here in Georgia for eight years. I've never been married, never had that man that I was just so heads over heels about. I want love now because it's time. When I was in my 20s, I was hurt, I was broken. I just had so much emotional baggage. So there's this guy that I dated. I'm using his computer, and on Safari, I'm typing in the letter G, and the history comes up. So I'm seeing all these different gay websites. Gym rat muscle types, midget porn, African gang bangs. And I'm like, nah, this is just, you know, something that he watches. It's not, you know, he's not really gay, you know? So now I'm going through the, the pictures and the videos on his computer, and surely enough, I see him another man. Whoa, what? whoa! No, wait, 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 da, da, da. don't say nothing. Rewind that shit again. Rebring that back. <laughs> Let me make sure we heard what we heard. I was definitely not expecting that. Me either, brother. <laughs> when we come back, Nina is going to give it to us straight no chaser about the aftermath of her discovery. Plus, we're going to hear from a few of our singles who are back on the dating scene after divorce. We'll be right back.
So now I'm going through the, the pictures and the videos on his computer, and surely enough, I see him another man. And I was just like, damn, Nina, like, you should have known better. Like, he got you good. Let's be honest, I'm 32, I'm not getting any younger. My child is seven. He's like, mom, when are you gonna get married? When are you gonna have another baby? Like, chop, chop. I am one of those, like, weird moms who get all teary-eyed and sentimental when they talk about, you know, their child because he is the highlight of my life and he is my world and I wanna have more. But for me, it's important that I do it right the next time. How do you start back up on the journey of looking? Because I'm going to want to help her. You got to have a conversation with her because when you talk about baggage, that's baggage. That's a lot that's of baggage. Heavy. She's coming out of a relationship where the person was not honest at all about who they were. Right. And she had to find it. And that's rough. I love the fact that we have someone like this on this journey right. because there is nothing like redemption. Right. I know she's been hurt. Somebody lied to her wasn't who they said they were. But when somebody like that finds a real relationship, it's a beautiful thing. So Will, let me ask you, why was it important for you to create a dating show for yeah. people our age? There are a lot of dating shows out there where you've got people in their 20s looking for love. Right. You don't know what you want in your 20s, and you know that. I had no clue at 20. Nobody does. Between 20 and 30, had no clue. You become a different person once you get in your 30s. These right. are people that are in the second stage of their lives. They're looking for someone who can be that life partner that they want to spend the rest of their days with. They don't have time. No. For setbacks, no drama. This no. is like, I got to get it right this That's time. Right. Bring me somebody that wants what I want. I get it. Third quarter. Dating these days isn't for the faint at heart. So let's get to know a few more romantic hopefuls who want to get it right after years of their relationships going left. My name is Mario. My age is 41, and I'm from Jackson, Mississippi. Hey, I tell everybody Kevin Hart, my cousin, more chest than my brother. But hey, you know, they looking for that Kevin Hart money too now. So you know, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 I ain't got that yet. I got, look, got a few coins, yeah. but I ain't got that much. I'm a tax preparer. Okay. I got my own tax company. I am a adrenaline junkie. I just went skydiving this past weekend, skiing, racing cars. Whatever, I, I, I like doing that type of stuff. I got three daughters, 25, 18, and six. One of those daughters has what? Yeah, I got a grandson. My Which grand makes you what? Uh, G-Daddy. <laughs> hey, you know the flag one you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was married about six years. She was the type of woman that I wanted and that I liked. You know, she was strong, independent, but she wanted to wear the pants. And my household, where I grew up in, nah, we ain't doing that. I mean, I consider you on things, you know, but I take the lead. And we really had a struggle with that. So, like, the last three years of the marriage, it was very rocky. I feel like my first marriage was practice. So my second marriage, I think I'm, I'm gonna be ready. I know I'm gonna be ready for my second marriage, because I know what to do. My name is Reva. I am 43 years old, and I am from Gary, Indiana. Both my parents were pastors. I was pretty sheltered. My mom didn't even allow me to spend a night at people's house. So when I did finally get to spend a night at my friend's house, there was a boy that I was feeling at school. The first time I was around him, like alone, we did the Uti Coochie, and I got pregnant, and it was four pumps. Four, <laughs> four pumps. I made him stop because it hurt. I was pregnant. My son is 26 years old now. So my mom quit her job, and she stayed home with my son um, till I graduated. And then I joined the military at Navy. 20 years, two months, and three days. I'm very strong-minded, and I'm very independent. Like, I'll trust you until I have a reason not to. Once I don't trust you no more, it's dead. Like, I, my ex-husband, like, I walked away from 11-year marriage like it wasn't nothing. My mom, she was like, you have three children. You're not going to think about the kids? Absolutely not. It's hard for me to get past hurt, and I'm afraid of being hurt. What's important to me, let, let me get some of that um, commitment. Let me get some of that honesty. Let me get some of that trust. I would love to come home to my own D and know that it's mine. That's what I want. My own D. Yeah, well, the D stands for determination. Determination. Boys and girls. That's, that's what she's looking for. All uh, right, so. You want to start with four pumps? Four pumps. OK, let's go four pumps. How can we not? That's that pretty was, fast, ain't it? That was a tough experience. Yeah. For that to be the first time and get pregnant. And a kid out of that. Yeah. 
This is a grown woman. Yes. That's what I see. But she is a no-nonsense no woman. No military. No nonsense. Left her husband after 11 years. Yes. She's the real deal. Quite a few of our eligible bachelors and bachelorettes are giving love another chance after divorce. So, let's get to know the folks who are done playing the field and now want to play for keeps. My name is Carrie. I'm 51 years old. I'm from Pontiac, Michigan. I live in the Atlanta metro area. I'm probably one of the best sales reps at what I do in this country, bar none. I'm now with the largest diabetes company in the world. I've been here two years doing that. Failed marriages, yes, but you know what? I look back and uh, I'm using them as building blocks. You know, I look at single folks now. I've actually been single now probably for about, about five to six years or so, right? Single folks, I'm like, what are y'all doing all this time? I wasn't just totally single, I had a son. My whole life was around my child. I grew up without a father, and I wanted to give him everything that I didn't have not having my father in my life. So I wasn't out gallivanting. I was breakfast, homework, get him ready for school, I was a single parent, so I wasn't hanging out. And I really didn't start dating. It took a while, I, you know, I was just real careful. You know what? I believe in love. I still believe in that boy meets girl. I still believe in that twinkle that's in your eye. And I'm hoping that you guys can put me in a situation where I can find someone that's a game changer for me. Hey, my name is Aisha. I'm 37 and I currently live in Atlanta. I'm a pediatric nurse. I love children, so it makes me happy when I go there. I was married for a short period of time. Basically, you know, he started staying out late. The cheating started. It wasn't easy getting out that situation. So once I got, you know, law enforcement involved, then I was left with nothing. Hey, your friend said at one point you were homeless? Yes, I was homeless. With kids? With kids. I lived in a shelter for three months with my children. That was probably the hardest choice that I, you know, that I had to make to just leave my house and go into a shelter. I like Aisha. I do too. I think that, you know, she's been through a lot, but that builds character. It does. I like it. I think she's gonna find somebody. I do too. When we come back, Aisha will reveal more about finding a home for her kids and a home for her heart. Plus, later, don't forget about that sneak peek of season two. Don't go nowhere. This is Ready to Love Casting Special. Hey, your friend said at one point you were homeless? Yes, I was homeless. That was probably the hardest choice that I, you know, that I had to make to just leave my house and go into a shelter. I wanted to leave, you know, but I would have lost my kids. And that, that was something that I wasn't willing to go through. I need somebody that has compassion because that's really who I am. I haven't met that guy that cares about the things I care about, like the homeless or, you know, going out to do missions. And I want somebody like that because I feel like we need to share that and we can spread the love a little bit more. She seems like she's bounced back from where she's been. Now the question is, is one of our guys ready? Ready to show her the type of happiness that we know she deserves. And I think she can find it, but we gotta find her an honest man. That's right. I like it, I think she's gonna find somebody. I do too. Now we're gonna turn the page to our next set of players who have enjoyed their freedom, but are now ready to settle down with a significant other. Let's check them out. My name is Terrell. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm 42 years old. I'm a veteran engagement advisor, so my job is to make sure veterans have an awesome and successful career as college students from the beginning to the end. A lot of people have different perspectives of pastor's kids. One of them that they're extremely bad, the other one that they're extremely good. I was always a bad boy. I just never got caught. I was 18 when I first had sex. It was an uh, older lady. She was about 26 years old. Wait, how did you make that happen? At my age, I was, you know, I was who I was. <laughs> <laughs> so I told her, you know, we can't keep doing this. So I broke up with her. So she came to my house, 
and my mom answered the door, and she was not having it. So long story short, that was my first experience of letting my mom know <laughs> that I was having sex, so. <laughs> I grew up in a two-parent house, and I most definitely seen what real love is and how a supporting marriage should be. What I'm looking for, I'm looking for something serious. I'm looking for someone who wants to engage in a serious relationship and build something that's great and like do the have happily ever after. My name is Christina. I am from Atlanta, Georgia, and I am 33 years old. I do personal injury, a little criminal defense. A lot of people are trying to get divorces, so I guess I'm doing that right now, too. When you see me in court, you'll be like, oh, Christina, Judge Judy, if you see me out at the club, it's gonna be big booty juice. The business side is one. My fun side is the side that we like to talk about more. I like to do a lot of travel. I like margaritas, Jamaican rum. I like raw oysters. This is what I like to do. This is the fun side. I'm really ambitious. I'm really aggressive. Like, not aggressive like, hey, you, boy, you coming home with me. Like, not this type of aggressive, but like, I'm a decision maker, I'm a problem solver, and I'm a natural protector. So I want a man who I can love to let lead, but I'm proud to let him make the decisions because I respect his decision making. That's what I want, that's what I'm looking for. I like her. You can tell this year we uh, we got a lot of curvy sisters, yeah. body positive, yeah. owning the way they look. One time for the curvy sisters out there. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting. This is also somebody that clearly knows what she wants. She's not a shrinking violet. She's got a strong personality. Our season two singles are not playing around. Some may be funny, some may be serious, but all of them are in it to win it this season. <laughs> yes, they are. My name is Angie. I am 37 years old, and I am from St. Louis, Missouri. I publish children's books, novels, poetry, business books. So I've done it all. Number one um, right now is the finances. He doesn't have to have the bling, but he has to be financially stable for sure. There was a time where sex was like number one for me. Like, uh-uh, you got to do this, you got to do that, I have to enjoy you. So then I was like, well, Angie, that can't be number one. Knock it down to at least two or three. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love for a man to uh, know how to take care of a know how to take care of a woman and to treat a woman. That actually might be number two, and sex probably is number three. Cause if you got number two right, I'm gonna make number three work. <laughs> <laughs> Love edge, love swag, that turns me all the way the on. I mean, like, <laughs> especially if they're edgy, but a calm edgy. I can pick out that man. It's just something about the aura. He doesn't have to say anything. He's not flashy. I let it be known. My name is Michael. I'm 40 years old. I am from Beaufort, Georgia. I love my job. When I say I love my job, I love my job. Truck driving, you don't have a boss hanging over your shoulder all day. And the good thing about it, I'm a, I'm a people person, so I meet a lot of different people every day. I'm delivering this, uh, I think it's a 60-inch TV. So I knock on the door, she opens the door. She said, can you, uh, you mind bringing it upstairs? You know, I'm like, man, you know, I said, this, this ain't gonna end well, man, but I'm, you know, I'm scared, man. I'm like, man, you know, she's a beautiful woman. You know, you know, guys, man, you gonna tell a woman no? I go ahead and take it up there, man, and she takes off her robe. She's not naked, but she, all she have on is a bra. <laughs> From now on, that's how you deliver TV. Uh, I tell you what, we're not ordering at my house when I'm out of town. <laughs> I gotta hear the end of that, and we have our last set of singles to introduce, so don't go anywhere. This is the Ready to Love Season 2 casting special. I'm delivering this, uh, I think it's a 60-inch TV. She said, you mind bringing it upstairs? I go ahead and take it up there, man, and she takes off her robe. She's not naked, but she, all she have on is a bra, and she's real close. To me, I'm putting it down. I, when I reach back up, I can feel her head on my neck. You know, I'm, I'm real nervous. You know, I can see the ring on her finger, so I'm like, okay, husband finna come home any second. I heard her made a quick, you know, something so I can hurry up and leave. You know, I'm 40. I'm, I'm hoping that I meet a lady that, you know, she has herself together. I'm really ready to settle down and, you know, what I mean, get that lady. 
Mike just gave us the real deal on being out here in these dating streets of ATL. We're getting to know the 20 men and women that Will and his crew have selected to leave the single life behind so they can join that love train. Well, it ain't over yet. We have our final two, and for both of these, the struggle for love is real. From being guarded to being placed in the friend zone, these two need to shake things up. Hello, my name is John. I'm 36 years old, and I'm from Jefferson County, Georgia. Oh, when I go for them, I give Steve Harvey Puff a run for their money, you know? <laughs> I mean, they got nothing on me. <laughs> now, I own a radio station, World Star Hit Radio, and a marketing agency, World Star Marketing Agency. So on Instagram, you got over 20-some million subscribers. Uh, when it come down to the website, it get millions of traffic daily. My last relationship was a year ago, and the reason why it fell apart because I felt that it was about money and materialistic things, and my thing was, accept me for me. I feel like at this point in my life, when it comes to love, it shouldn't be no facts. I need to know who you are. Let's fall in love from within and then build from there. Let's talk about celibacy. Yep. How long has this been the case? Uh, this is going on two years. I'm a spiritual person, so I believe in soulmate. If I don't see you as my soulmate in marriage, I'm not going to waste your time. And I'm not going to be with a woman until I get married. And if she can't handle that, that just let me know she ain't the one for me. Hello, my name is Ashima. I am 39 years old, and I am from Mobile, Alabama. I am very raw and uncut female comedian. I talk about a lot of sex. I talk about a lot of I go through with men. I pops up on my baby daddy everywhere. That granddaddy died. I showed him at the funeral of the pile bear. He didn't even know it. I was right behind him. Stop crying, punk. Let me a lot of guys on the road. So we'll text and we'll call and we'll FaceTime until that dies down. One of my close cousins, he would tell me, Shima, I don't think that guys take you serious. Because I would start dating a guy, and he might not make me his woman, but oh my god, he would want me to be his homegirl. And why I got to keep falling in the homegirl category? Is it because we so cool, and I'm always so funny, we can talk about everything? When I date, it made me want to maybe show a guy I do have a serious side, because I do. I want to go on dates. I want companionship. I'm going like four, four, five Christmas strong, four, five Valentine strong with nobody. I want to share my life, my world, the happiness and the love that I have with somebody. She's hilarious. She's funny. Yeah. She's funny. Listen, and by the way, that's a great personality trait. Yeah. You know, a lot of women talk about liking funny guys, mm -hmm. guys that, you know, have great personalities. But I think, I think you would agree, guys like women with a sense of humor as well. They gotta have one. Yeah. They have to have one. There you have it. Our 20 men and women who have kept it real and there's only one week before they all come together and meet for the first time. We'll get a chance to see sparks fly, Tempest Player, and find out which of these lovebirds flock together when season two premieres on Saturday, October 12th at 10 p.m. And let us know who your favorite men and women are from tonight's casting special by posting at OWN TV. Don't go anywhere because we're gonna give you what you all been waiting for, a juicy taste of season two when we come back. Welcome back. For the last hour, Will and I have introduced to you a whole new crop of eligible bachelors and bachelorettes who want to trade in the single life for a soulmate. Will, it's been good hanging with man, you, baby. are you kidding me? Huh? I cannot wait for this season, Tommy. It's going to be good, man. I can't wait to see what you do. You got uh -huh. a lot of personalities, a lot of energy. I'm going to do what I got to do. A lot to control. I... <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's go. I will lead this journey where it needs to go. I love it. I uh... love it. Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is almost over. But before we bring you the season premiere on Saturday, October the 12th at 10 p.m., I'm a man of my word. So here's your sneak peek of season two. What's up? It's your boy, Tommy Miles, and I'm back in Atlanta to address one of the city's biggest problems. Finding love. When you blush, it make me blush. Flattery will get you everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Baby, you my magic carpet like I'm Jasmine. Life is hard trying to juggle all of these fine-ass men. You better act like it's a privilege. I'm struggling, man. I'm here to find the right person. I'm your final journey like a pilgrimage. I 
got you pinned down. You ain't oh. going nowhere. You know, I got the lock on you, so. You about to get a locksmith to get that lock off. <laughs> I just got one question. Why are you so fine? Girl, stop. Ready to love is back. Hey, ladies. Each one of you came here for the right reasons. You're tired of the game. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I mean, this tension between us is so thick, you can cut it with a <laughs> knife, man. Like, damn, bring the knife, bring the knife. This season, the power to eliminate shifts back and forth between the women and the men. These men have no idea what's ahead. You are a smart man. No, 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 You no, got no. your stupid hat on right now. May the best woman win. And next thing you know, we were kissing. So what? because you put your tongue in a man's Wait. mouth and he still gave you his ass to kiss. That's why you're in your feelings. The best way to make this decision is to make sure your next move is your best move. You know black men don't cheat. It's a new movement, right? And it's real. I need you to focus on us. I am focused on us. I ain't got an insecure bone in my body. But what I don't have in my body is a goddamn fool. If she want to put it all out there, we going to put it all out there. And I mean all out there. Let it rip. Commitment. That's a concept you think you're ready for? I apologize, because I don't want to jeopardize this for nothing. You understand what I'm saying? I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you leave. Don't even watch, because you can't even handle it, baby. I want to know what's for dessert. Chocolate. It's time to find out if a new group of dynamic singles from Atlanta are truly ready to love. <laughs>